Good morning, good morning. How's it going? I believe everything is up and going. There we are, there we are. And hello, welcome back to more Minecraft Dungeons. I'm super pumped for this. We are in my favorite DLC by the long shot. The other DLCs have been fantastic so far. But this one, the underwater levels are incredible. I absolutely love, what is this? Oh, this is the, wait, there's a, wait, isn't there a sign-in thing? Like a daily sign-in where you, you click on this box and it gives you something fancy based on like the, or no, it's based on your levels, isn't it? I never remember how this works. Uh, I think, is it the Adventure Hub here? Oh, so it, it's, oh, okay, 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 never mind, never mind. It's the Adventure Hub. For some reason, I thought it was every day you signed in, you would get something for whatever it was, but I guess it's, it's every Adventure level you get. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. All right. I went through the shops. Everything's the same as how it was when we last left, or when we left last stream. So I think we're going to jump right back into the next mission here, which... If I remember correctly, we finished the Abyssal Monument, and I think, did we open the Radiant Ravine, or did we do the Radiant Ravine? I'm not quite sure. Hey, Black Blue Wolf, it's good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Did we do Radiant Ravine? While most deep ravines are cold and pitch black, the Radiant Ravine is an ever-shifting kaleidoscope of color. Bioluminescent life forms live among the vibrant underwater foliage, but so do legions of drowned and other hostile creatures. You need to stop the drowned from accidentally destroying the underwater volcano that supports this brilliant oasis, or else this wonderland will fade into total darkness. I don't think we did this one, then. I think we did the Abyssal Monument. Right, so we're going to do the Radiant Ravine today. Oh, that's the Daily Trial. Okay, I thought maybe there was an extra level. Apparently, of all of these four DLC, this place has the highest, or the, the biggest levels for us to go and explore, which is kind of exciting. My power is 65, recommended 62. We'll go with that. I'm pumped for this. I, I'm, I'm going to say this every time we play Minecraft Dungeons, but I really hope a lot of the cosmetics and appearance things that we see in this place get switched over to regular Minecraft, because it's just, it's such, it's so beautiful. Right? I'm sure it'd be a little bit more complicated to have all these different, like, stepped-up tiers of sand. But we've seen it in other modded servers, although I don't know what kind of lag it adds to things. But even just the different ground blocks, like, is this something in regular Minecraft? I don't think this is. Because I would I would, I would, just live underground all the time. Spend, have I heard of... No, I haven't heard of that. Malort? Oh, 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 uh, I forgot about the oxygen thing. <laughs> this is, it's going to take us a moment to get used to this again, but that's okay. Look at our ox. Oh, you know what it was? We always remembered about it because I had the map up all the time before, so we would see the little bubble, uh, the bubbles pop up on it. So then that was all right front and center. Oh, man, actually dealing with all the little tiny zombies here. It's really not so bad having our little spin attack. Because when they swarm us we strike out and I think when they get attacked it, I don't know if it stops their attack pattern but I'm pretty sure it slows it down a little bit but I think it depends on the mob like regular regular zombies and skeletons those get stunned why are they why are these guys down there? right because they, they get that little bit of stun but then there's the illagers I think they don't have that at all And now this music, is this... Did we hear this music before? Or is this different? Oh, you know what? I wonder if the reason why the music feels so much more different is because of the difference between, like, the C418 music and then this is more orchestral. So I wonder if that's why all the music here feels a lot more dramatic. Not that the other music's bad, but... I think every bit of music in Minecraft is by C418, isn't it? Hey, Shadow of the Dragons, good to see you. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? What a beautiful world, right? I think I told you guys about this a couple times now, but there is a modded SMP, an Origins SMP I play on. It's not the outset SMP. It's the Globy SMP. And inside it, I hit random for my origin, and I ended up becoming a Merling. So I've been able to experience the game from living under... Why can't I figure out how to 
to get through there. Uh, Malort liquor is the worst tasting liquor in the world, and I've had two shots, so I'm a little tipsy. I've never heard of that. You're doing great. Oh, that's good to hear, Shadow. But yeah, so I've been messing around as a Merling, and playing the whole game underwater is a lot of fun. There's got to be something. I either come back this way from another direction, or I can't quite figure out how to get up top, but that's okay. We'll hope that it circles back around. Because it's got, the, you can see in the map on the bottom right there, it's got those two little like gap sections, so as if there's a spring that'll throw us up over top. So that's gotta be what it is. Think about me that uses custom origins. Shadow, what custom origins do you use? I've seen a bunch of the, the fancy origins that, uh, or, no, what, what is it? There's, there's so many different Origins mods that we played around with. Some of them are, they add classes to the game, which I thought was kind of neat. I don't know why I wanted to attack the puffer. Wait, when the puffer fishes explode, they shoot out poison? Interesting, okay. Spendago, uh, he's not down here at the moment. Mostly Space Breaker Origin by a data pack. What is the Space Breaker Origin? Because I know the... In, I don't think the Inchling's a regular Origin. There was... You know, you know what? We did mess around with a couple of them in... The Outset SMP. But we had some really bad lag issues that were caused by... I believe it was the Dimension Hop or the Dimensional Being. I think that's what it was. It was this Origin that let you jump between... Yeah, you could just, you could just, boom, in, teleport in between a bunch of the main uh, dimensions of the game. Which it was, it, it seemed really cool. But it caused a lot of issues. What is Arena Battle? Is the Arena Battle the spot that we're at right now, or are we going to it? Because I saw that little... Oh, okay, no, so it is here then. Thankfully, these guys are choosing to fight us right around where the the bubbles are. By a data pack or something like that. I think my favorite Origins packs that I've seen... I haven't messed around with them, but they were the ones that added stuff like Miner, uh, Farmer, all sorts of these different kind of like boosting effects to the different tasks and jobs you could do which I thought was really cool. Because I've seen, there's different servers I've played on that have had these different roles and classes that you could add. And so then you would gain experience. So if you were a farmer, every time you harvested or planted stuff, you would earn like the in-game currency. And then as you leveled up, like your the drop chances of more food would increase and you'd eventually gain more money as well. And so it was done that way to help try and add in these different forms of economy to the server, which none of them I don't think have ever really been implemented 100% successfully, but they've been pretty cool. Oh, your dogs are stopping you from being able to lie down right now? We still have the music here, so I thought for sure there was going to be another... There's going to be some other mob here. Oh, now is it completed? Was that it? Okay. I didn't see a door that was locked. Hey, Godzilla, it's good to see you. Good morning. How are you doing? We are enjoying ourselves here. I was actually, I got up early today and I was on the Project Aussie server a little bit, getting a few things set up for, uh, for the streams this week. I'm very excited for this. Although we still gotta figure out what we're gonna do with Sigma, because Sigma's getting all crazy with his, uh, what do you call it? His DNA splicing stuff. Oh, they pushed me off. Actually, that worked out good. It's <laughs> God, it's, we didn't die and it spawned us back over where the oxygen is. So that worked out nicely. Space Breaker is a skip, and a skip is an origin that has the ability to jump between his dimension and the overworld. Wait, what's this new dimension? What do you mean, his dimension? It also takes some part of land when he teleports. <gasps> that sounds so cool! Yeah. 
So is this the server that you're, are you playing on like a single player thing or a server kind of thing where it's added this whole new dimension to go with the origin? Because that is cool. Uh, the new Minecraft update comes out today. Yeah, it looks really cool. Honestly, I was debating on doing a playthrough of the new Minecraft update. I don't know if I'm going to do that though. Because I thought it might be kind of fun to do a hardcore playthrough. Because it's been a while since we've tried one of those. Oh, I didn't mean to attack the dolphin, but now we got a mirror girl all of them. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's something that I want to commit the time to. Just because we've got... Oh! The, the, okay, the rocket with uh, with this bow and how it, it shoots out the three different arrows, that'd be awesome. I think the ultimate bow that I would want to see is the... It's like that harp bow where it shoots out the three, the three arrows, has a chance... To shoot out five arrows but has a chance that each arrow that hits splits into five that would be absolutely incredible to have all those what are we getting the yas for is that for oh that's right i forgot the lightning thing are you guys really wanting us to do a hardcore playthrough i was really hoping i could hit that guy from here so i think we have to go down before we can go back up. Oh, we're freeing the turtles. Interesting. Okay. You guys want to see a hardcore playthrough? We've got so many projects on the go. I don't know when we would do that. But if you guys are really interested in it, we can... Uh, I'll put that back up into the thought process stuff again. I was thinking about it for a while, especially with the new update. But, like I said, we didn't really get super far in our last Hardcore Worlds. So I was worried that... You know, it, it'd be it'd end up being kind of a, a waste of time. I'm worried that we're going to kill... The turtle after we free him. Because then I was like, well, maybe I'll just do like a single player world, like a normal world, and we can try some stuff out. But then I was like, well, if I'm just going to do that, I might as well just keep going with the stuff that we're currently doing, like with Project Aussie and the outside SCP and things like that. But, uh, and I, you can store nine items like a shulk, give people the wither effect, but you're allergic to water, you take more fire damage, and there's a small chance that you get slowness after getting hit. Ah, oh, that is so cool. So did you make this origin? And then Shadow, what's the... You said that it... It jumps between the overworld and its own dimension. So what's its own dimension? So I'm always curious about that kind of stuff. I love everything to do with different dimensions. It's also partially why we did kind of what we did with the with Project Aussie and like the the dimension like the world dimension hopping kind of stuff. Oh, we have a dog coming now. Hi buddy. How you doing? Do you want to say hi to everybody? You're like, no, I'm just here for my treats. I would just like my snacks, please. Good morning, buddy. Hello. How are you? You saying hi? You're like, oh, I hear you talking to people. I know what this means. He came down earlier before I started streaming. He was just like, hey, hey, I'd like my snack, please. Can I have some noms? And, uh, I was like, no, you're going to have to wait. So he started, like, nuzzling in, pushing his head up under my arm, going like, hey, hey, I'm still here. <laughs> Can we do it, buddy? You excited? Oh, we got a big one today. Yeah. Yeah, you can smell it, can't you? The bag's not closed. Oh, it's closed. You want to show off everybody how good you are at catching stuff again? Okay, wait. Oh, good boy. I didn't think he was going to catch that one. He got a little bit excited. Oh. <laughs> no, buddy. It's right there. It's right there. You crazy guy. Is it? He got a little bit too excited and he tried to like bite it or grab it out of my hand for a second. This is mostly white concrete and parts of the uh, overworld you took while hopping, but to get back you need to stand in a part of land you, you took to the dimension. Oh, that's so cool!
Is it? Good boy. No, it's not mine. It's from the Origins Discord server. That's so cool. So you can go to this world and... Oh, did you catch it? Dude, you, you're you getting so much better at this. No. Good boy. Did you see how he is? He was preemptively trying to catch it. Oh, good boy, buddy. Good boy. So, Shadow, when you jump to this other world, can you build stuff in it then? You can just like teleport to this dimension that's only yours. Build a home, have a great life, and then whenever you feel like going back and visiting people, just you bamf back out to the other place. So then if you teleport to this new world, could you just place down ground blocks and then teleport back on those ground blocks? Oh, you can't build anything there? Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, buddy, that's all we got. But I'll still wait just in case you change your mind. <laughs> oh, he's gonna... oh, he's hanging out with here with us down here today. Because it's so much hotter out, I think he doesn't mind hanging out a little bit by my computer desk because I have one of those plastic mats that I, I think is just cooler for him to stand on. I'm just always worried if he's there because if something happens, I get really excited and I jump up and my chair wheels back, then uh, he might get hurt a little bit from it. So since we're kind of, we were kind of on the topic of the hardcore world, here's my question then. If we were to do the hardcore worlds, what would we want to, we did? Like, I'm not going to add another day of streaming. Because if anything, I, honest to God, I was actually debating on removing a day of streaming. To spend a bit more time on YouTube stuff. <laughs> spend you on a steal him. I love him too. He's amazing. What would we, when would we want to do it? Because I feel like if we were going to do a hardcore world, we would do it the same day every week. So we want to do it Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. That's the thing. Uh, see, oh, shh, see, but then think, because there's, oh, there's so much stuff I still want to do with Project Us. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll make it work. Because I don't think Hardcore Worlds are as exciting to watch as a YouTube video. I think they're more exciting as an actual live stream. Because my one of my thoughts was we would do it as that. Uh, you can only build in the overworld, but if I build something and get to the dimension, it stays through until I destroy the build and teleport in the place where the where the build went. So what's the point of going to the dimension then? Is it to help you out if you're in like a danger, like if you're in danger of dying or something like that, you can just teleport to get out of it? Because typically when they add a, a dimension like that, oh, it's for healing. Okay. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Have you guys seen the Avatar The Last Airbender mod pack? It's updated a lot recently. And it, it looks really cool. It's gotten to the point where it almost feels like you could you could almost consider it, oops, I attacked the turtle. I didn't I don't know why I did that. It almost feels like it could be kind of like a fighting game. But in Minecraft now. That's how much they've they've improved and added it. It's so cool. The way you do when you're doing like the water bending, you like wiggle and move your your mouse to like direct how the water spins. And I think that changes that can possibly have an effect on how the attack works. I know with, um, uh, I know with, what do you call it? With the earth bending, you can actually pick up and place blocks. You can also mine stuff with your earth bending as well. Air bending's got a bunch of cool things with like jumping around and really powerful attacks. I didn't see much with fire bending, but I, I kind of skipped through a video of this guy who had played, wait, where? Oh, we had to go through those doors to get up to this higher section. Ah, I see. Okay. I saw a little bit to do with this guy who did a a, uh, a YouTube video of like 100 days in uh, the Avatar mod pack. So it looks kind of cool. One of the mod packs I've been really curious about checking out is the Demon Slayer mod pack. I haven't seen too, too much about it, but it looks really fancy with... Uh, 
with the swords and the abilities, because I guess when you start out, it's kind of like regular Minecraft, but there's these demons can spawn in and around the world. And then if you die, or no, if you consume the blood of the of Mugen or whatever the guy's name is, which I'm not sure how you get, then you can turn into a demon. Otherwise, you have to go and find the different resources needed to craft your sword to become a demon slayer. It's really cool. Is there blood bending, lightning blending, and metal bending? I think there's lightning bending. I didn't, I kind of skipped through the video, so I don't know if there's metal and blood. But one of the descriptions of the of the mod packs is that they want to add everything from the, the airbender universe. So when you go and you find random villages, instead of it being like villagers, you've got the different clans from the tribes. And I think it depends on the biome you're in. Uh, to go and to gain abilities and powers for bending, you've got to go and kill certain kinds of mobs or creatures that drop these special scrolls for each um, thing. Like for example, I think chickens drop wind bend or wind bending scrolls, and then you have to you have to collect a bunch of those, and you have to upgrade them into like tier two scrolls with this crafting thing. And then I think the tier three ones are really expensive to be able to go and like fully upgrade abilities. And I, I think when I watched the guy go through all the airbending stuff, there were probably... It looked like there was like 12 different airbending abilities, and each one had... I think it was like six or seven at least upgrade paths to like increase the power of the ability and the things that it could do. It was really cool. Like, for example, there's one ability that allows you to pick up a block and throw it. Um, as you upgrade the ability, it does more damage. Um, it, I think the first ability lets you to pick it up, then you can place it back down. Second one lets you throw it, like when you upgrade it. And the third upgrade, I think, it just gets more powerful and it deals more damage. But then there's a fifth upgrade where if you throw it and it hits somebody, then it circles back like a boomerang and comes back to you, so you can, like, th you can throw it again. It, it looks really cool. I think we missed the chest up there, too. Um... There are millions of data packs to add to the server. Are you talking about just in service in general or yours? But yeah, it does sound really cool. I was uh, I was peeking around at it. And uh, I don't want to jump in and play it. Because it might be a Project Aussie thing in the future. It's, it's added into the list of possible mod packs we might look at doing stuff with. Because I know f I was talking with Sigma and... With, for future Project Aussie mod packs, we're not going to do mod packs that have so many mods in them. They're going to be... Just because we... There's just so many different things we could do. That if we do... I think if we do like three or four mod packs the size of the mod pack we have right now, we would com we would do most of the, the mods in it. So we're going to look at some other... Uh, less intense mod packs for the future. Have you watched any more of the Heist with Markiplier? Uh, not since we talked last week. Just thinking about something, and I can see if that's on the Discord. Oh, you're talking about mostly the Origin Service? Nice. Oh, I didn't mean to heal like that. Oh, we gotta go back and get some oxygen. I don't know where the next oxygen bubble's gonna be. Hey, Melty, it's good to see you, morning. Welcome, welcome. Most people are gonna be like, this is a really weird question to ask, but Melty, did your toilet explode again? Or is it all good? Are you guys in the clear? <laughs> Hopefully you had a night where the toilet did not go and cause everyone in your household problems. Okay, oxygen. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> we didn't have our health thing. We were getting chased by different mobs. I thought for sure we were about to go down. Oh, I didn't mean to come down all the way over here. Wait, what is this thing? An anchor? An actual anchor as a weapon? That's kind of cool. Oh, we got this as well. Look at this. Lightning fo- Okay, no, we've seen all those. I just didn't recognize the picture for it. Uh, it's good for now. You're going to get it replaced soon, though. Well, that's good. Turtle armor. We're, all, we're not really getting any fancy armor. For the longest time, I was keeping this because of Luck of the Sea, but I don't really think Luck of the Sea is making that much of a difference. So at least not anything that I can notice. So I think we're going to go for higher... We're going to switch up our gear to something higher level as soon as we can. Because I think we've got 
one more level. Or we gotta complete one mission and then I think we can throw armor into the upgrade thing. Which we'll just throw this armor in and we'll get all the upgrade points back. Uh, before we go up and to the next part, uh, which is to the northeast, we're gonna head southwest. And it looks like that might actually circle around down to that first spot at the beginning of the level where I was like, hey, it looks like this is supposed to go somewhere. So I'm curious to see what kind of treasure we're gonna, we're gonna get. I, the only reason why I keep going around looking for all this stuff is because I think there's those dark black chests that I think you can only ever open once. And once you open them, They'll never spawn again in the level, so it doesn't really matter going to look for them. So I'm, I always just want to make sure we check them out. You dyed your hair, but you bought a dye that doesn't stick to your hair well, so now you have blonde streaks with tiny bits of purple. Was your hair purple before and you were adding in the blonde, or was it blonde and you were adding in the purple? You still need to buy Minecraft Dungeons? I highly recommend it. I really like it. The DLC do add a little bit more to the cost of it, but I think the DLC have gone down in price. If you can get a bundle that gives you all the DLC as part of a game, then go for it. If they don't have one of those, then wait until one of those goes on sale. That's my only recommendation. Because the main game's great, but I think the DLC is the best part. And having to, if you had to buy all of it separately, it'd be, it'd be expensive. Okay. Oh, that's been went really well. Uh, C-Spen, by the time you start streaming, it usually is morning for me, but <laughs> on an entirely different day. Oh yeah, because it, it's it's like really, really early in the morning for you now, isn't it? It was blonde from bleaching it, but the, the uh but the purple didn't stick. Ah, that sucks. Is is it one of the ones where the purple's kind of started to fade to the point where it's like a color you're not happy with, or is it still okay enough that you're like, I can manage with this? Because I don't know too much about dying, but a friend was telling me because she, she dyed her hair a lot in high school, and she was saying that every time she went to go dye her hair she had to be careful because if it if the bleach if it didn't stick then she had to wait a, a while before she could bleach it and try it again 12 30 a.m that's insane oh, i love the shift in the music you know what i think because i played a lot of subnautica a while ago or I guess a couple years ago. And I absolutely was in love with the game. And I'm really f getting the same kind of feeling towards this game, and it must be the music. Because sometimes the music gets into that really calm, relaxing kind of uh, vibes that just reminds me, I didn't realize how much it reminds me of Subnautica. Although I don't know if it's just on my mind right now because Sigma was talking about it yesterday, the day before. There's a game he recommended to me Let's go check out this little uh, this little tube down here first. There's a game he recommended to me that's kind of a bit of a horror game. Or at least it's got the horror tag, but he says it isn't really horror. He says it's more horror along the lines of what Subnautica is. So I, I might check it out. I don't know. I'm trying to remember what it's called. Actually, here, let me... Take, what, what, what was the game that he called? Uh, the game is called Iron Lung, if anybody's heard of that. It looks like it's an older game, or it could just be the art style is designed to be a bit older, or to make it appear a bit older, and you're in some sort of submarine underwater. I don't know if you do exploring or what it is. I haven't looked too, too much into it yet so far. My hair is kind of orangey. It's not exactly my favorite dye job, but it's fine. Well, I, I think of all the different colors of hair, and I'm not just saying this because your hair is now orange, as if I'm trying to make you feel better. The, I love, I love orange hair. Just like the when someone gets like the the bright the bright orange when they dye it, I think it looks it it's just like a really fun color. Could also be that I'm biased towards it. And I've always just liked the color because my car is a very a very vibrant orange. It was fun. My dad actually pointed out yesterday we were uh, at the front window looking out onto the street. And he was like, you know, we're looking at all the cars. Just e pretty much every car on the street was just it was black gray silver like a, a dark brown it was all very like similar cal color pa palette and then my car just bright orange and the only one there it just made me feel special about myself <laughs> so i don't know i just wanted i don't know why i wanted to share that but 
Oh, shoot. We got a problem. We got a problem. We're going to die. I didn't... Where am I supposed to... Where am I supposed to guard or take cover in that place? There's, like, no spot... There's nowhere to take cover here. How am I supposed to fight these things? Besides just spamming all of my stuff at it. There wasn't even a spot for oxygen. My God, what a, what a deadly fight. Okay, well, we're good. <laughs> I read that, Wolfius. Your cannibal cravings were coming back. You should probably get that checked out with the doctor if your cannibal cravings are coming back. Eating people probably isn't a good thing. Oh, <laughs> Melty read it the same way too. Yesterday I had to drive down to the nearest gas station to use the restroom. I just left Gold sleeping there <laughs> in my room. Well, yeah, because on your live stream you were talking, you were you were trying to figure out when the neighbor was gonna be home so you could go to the neighbor's house and be like, hey, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Oh, Melty, I forgot to go and check your house out in Project Aussie as well. Since you added some of the new stuff to it. How's the how's the torture chamber coming along? When you first started talking about putting one together, I was very excited for you to discover all of the tor or the uh, the torture chamber stuff in DecoCraft. So, seeing how the water is down uh, down over there with the magma cubes and how we got that red ambient glow, it really makes me wish that the magma cubes didn't always pull everything down in the water. So just look how cool and vibey that is. I would love to build an underwater base that has the big glass window that looks out into the ocean. And then just having a bunch of these little magma spots like this just spread out around. I guess, you know what, when you're when you're looking into the water from a place where you're not in the water, you don't actually see the bubbles, do you? Although I don't know if that's a graphical error with the some of the stuff I've got installed on my Minecraft or if it's a normal thing. You made the base room for it, but you haven't organized anything. Everything's just sitting there. You've made the... Yeah. Well, I'm excited to see how it, how it turns out. Did you see Sigma's message? In, uh, in the main server, he was reaching out for you. Uh, I think earlier today. Okay. There was something I wanted to tell you all about. I don't remember what it was. Yeah, no, it's not coming back to me. I've also been trying to find it, and nobody's done anything yet with uh, recreating the Minecraft dungeon levels in, uh, in Minecraft. Is it back here? Oh, here it is. This has got to lead to something good, right? Like a treasure chest, some fancy loot, hundreds of, of baby zombies. Not exactly what we were looking for, but something we don't see too often. Oh, it keeps going. Come on. It's been a long time since we've seen one of those fancy black chests that give us the really good item drops. Oh, but this is broken. How are we supposed to get across? You think I can make it if I just do this? Huh, okay, so I guess that's not a thing. I'll hail the dead body in my walls. 
I, I feel like if you're gonna talk about it that way, I, I feel like it's safer to say the sarcophagus that you found in your walls instead of there just being a dead body in your wall. Although there are some horror stories of people going and renovating their house because they bought like an older, like an old styled house from like the, the 70s or the 80s and they went to go renovate a wall and then turns out that when the house was being built, someone was murdered and their body was put inside the concrete. Those are terrifying. Spen, I need help with something you can't help me with? Well, then unfortunately, there's nothing I can do, Wolfie. <laughs> you able to lift a cake with your knife? Your with your stuck knife? What? Gold told me to put the cake in the freezer, and when we went to get it, it was frozen. My knife got stuck. Oh, I, I missed that part at first. Do we go through the lava? Or the magma? Nope. No, we do not. How do we... get through here? That's just gonna hurt us. Oh! Okay, never mind. There's a way up here. There's a way up here. We gotta go up and circle back around. Wait, have we not been this way? Because we're hearing the music of fights. Very confused, but that's okay. Alright. Dead body in the walls. Oh, man. Yeah, there was, um... I think, because there was a while I got really interested in those kinds of stories, so I was looking up a bunch of them. This, the freakiest one that I saw was just these people were... They peeled off the wallpaper they'd put up, and behind, behind the wallpaper were these, like, wooden planks. Kind of like the old style, uh... Uh, of like of walls and then they they took those down in the basement to reveal the concrete and there was they could see the the inside imprint of like uh what looked to be some sort of bone and it was like an elbow almost sticking out of the out of the concrete it was so creepy okay Oxygen, oxygen. Oh, you know, we, well, we should, be, we should be probably fine. We can actually survive a fair bit. Are we blind? Oh, is that from the... Oh, that's from the squid's ink. Totally noted. That's kind of cool, but also kind of frustrating. So we're going to have to hope that when we go to fight whatever boss might be in this level that we do not encounter squids in the same area. Oh, these are glow squids too! Oh. Uh, using the bubble bow, have 10 mobs bubbled at the same time? I swear to God we didn't do that. I don't know how we got that, but I'll accept it anyways. You almost crashed the car twice this weekend with the birthday person in the car. You're a good driver, but Saturday was not your day. Oh, man. Have I told you guys about... I think I've only had... I've only had two near crashes in my life. Or maybe maybe a third one? I feel like it's the third one. I don't remember two of them off the top of my head. But, so, during my driver's training, a really good friend of mine... Uh, was was doing the driver's training with me. And how it worked was we all went in, like, groups of two. So that there was uh, two students and the driver. One student would drive for the first bit. The other student would drive for the second bit. We would drive, because it's a very small town, we would drive out of town, down the highway, into the, the small town nearby. And uh, everything would be good to go. So we, the very first day our driver's trainer arrived... Myself and my friend, we got in the car. We we're about to get in the car, and the guy was like, all right, who's comfortable driving? I'm like, oh, I drive all the time. Uh, let's do this. So he's like, all right, cool. You can drive first. So we we pulled onto the road from the school, and then in the very first turn, I almost drove, turned right into an oncoming vehicle. No, not the necromancer! The bait. Wait, okay, never mind. We're cool with the necromancy. Oh, you know what? Oh, God. There, I, did, I didn't know what I was doing there. There was... We got surrounded by the guys with the, um, the tridents. I should have just kept going. 
I should have kept moving instead of trying to kill them as quickly as I could. So, because the Necromancer was in the corner, when the firework arrows exploded, a lot of them hit the outside edges, and it did a ton of damage to them, which was great. But yeah, so the very first turn, turn almost right into an oncoming vehicle. And then uh, the second time, I think it was like the next day, the my friend was the one driving. We were trying to, we were merging onto the major highway from like a, from the, the side highway. And as she was uh, trying to merge in, she was kind of like looking over her shoulder, looking back at the road, and we almost like went right into a sign off the side of the highway. Both times our instructor had to either, he slammed on the brakes or his brake in my, in the car that I was driving, and he had to turn the steering wheel in the one when she was driving. It was crazy. You restocked the Obsidian Shop. It now has 864 Obsidian for sale at one down. I'm going to be clear. Okay, that, I won't be clearing it out quite as much. But yeah, I'm already out of Obsidian. I think I bought all of the Obsidian you had in your shop. And then, uh... It sounded like a button. What are we freeing from the ocean here? Because we're breaking the seal on something. This is a boss fight, isn't it? Here, let's just collect this, please. Oh, it's Arena Battle, is it? You'll be taking some of the obsidian, possibly. Melta, you're gonna have a, huff, uh, a rough time with the shops to begin with, because a lot of it's materials that are kind of expensive for someone that's new. Melta, you gotta start a shop with resources that people want, and then just hike up the prices, and then you'll be able to catch up no problem. <laughs> just find something people really want. I'm planning on setting up a dye shop so that we've got a bunch of dye available. Oh, I don't know the next. The zombies were almost faster than me. You'll be taking... Wait, your brain's melting. Well, that's probably not a good thing. Dude, look at how much damage that did. Oh, I gotta get out, zombie, no! That son of a gun almost got me killed. We should have been dead right there. Oh my. We had no health left. It was all completely gone. Decocraft being your favorite mod, you will need a lot of die. Yeah, it's, well, it's only the three kinds of die too. I think, right? The one thing, have you done stuff with Decocraft before? Cause do you have, can you just put in die? Or do you have to make the fancy... Or do you have to make the fancy little, like, three different die... Or three different colored clay block stuff? I've never been sure exactly how all that stuff works. Oh, excuse me. So do I get a trident? Oh, it didn't even give us a loot chest. I know we get one at the end of the level, but... Even like a, here, have a chest with some emeralds would have been very nice. You can just put in die. Oh, thank God. Okay. That's going to make using it so much easier. I'm uh, I'm trying to get to the point where I can just generate clay, but it's very power expensive. And I'm not particularly uh, adept at creating power. Most of it goes to my all the stuff that my facilities are, are working on right now. Satchel of Elixirs, level 68. That's not too bad. Mr. Blacksmith. Oh, it's my really good sword. Level 70. Okay. Now, this sword's tough, right? Because we got Pain Cycle or Dynamo. I don't really care about the rolling. So, Attack Straining Life to grant one stack. But then we've got Sharpness, Weakening, Fire, Aspect. I think we had armor that gave us Lifesteal last time that made this kind of okay. You need clay? I can sell. Yeah, gotcha. That'd be awesome. 
There's a clay chart and a dye chart. It shows how much dye you have and how much clay you have. So I thought you had to craft the color, because there's three different colored clays that you can, there's the red, the blue, and the green colored clay you can craft in Deco Craft. And I thought you had to craft those to put it in, but I guess you can just craft those to put in clay and dye at the same time. I guess. I don't know if I want to use this. Oh no, all right, it leeches health from mobs normally. Because I really like the sharpness of the paint cycle with this. You're upsetting that the early versions of Decorcraft does not have the fancy carpets. Dude, the carpets in this one are insane. Melty, you've also got to look at... So that chisel I gave you? You got to go and look at all of... Um... Oh, what are they called? You got to go look at all the different carpets, too. If you if you make make some different wool in your inventory, put it into the chisel, you're gonna you're gonna be blown away with the kind of carpets you can make with that now. Yeah, you can just craft those to put the clay and dye in at the same time. Okay. But yeah, it'll it'll absolutely blow your mind. I'm kind of feeling we're not gonna use the heart stealer. But We really should upgrade our armor, shouldn't we? Because I think it's holding us back from some of our levels right now. All right, so that the chisel I gave you isn't from chisels and bits. It's from the actual chisel mod. And what the chisel mod does is you, you use the chisel to just change the appearance of full blocks. So, like, stone now, like, you can take a stone block and it can have, like, I think there's, like, 30 different textures you can replace the stone with. And it's all unique to the stone. And there's a lot of really fancy carpets you can do with the... Uh, with it, too. Yeah, we're gonna keep the weapon we've got. But... Maybe we'll do... Because what's the armor? This gives us protection and luck of the sea. This will give us... Okay, Renegade Armor's level 65. Black Wolf Armor we're not gonna use... Cave crawler, I'm not interested in either. Because this is going to give us deflect, which will help out, I think, with the tridents. Your health is reduced by 60%. Your melee damage is increased. Poison damage you deal is increased. Lightning damage you deal is increased. Ah, uh, see, but that's not really great either. Maybe we should just put it on. We're not going to put any points into it, but it'll up our level a fair bit, right? 67. We'll stick this in here. Just to get the enchantment points back. But we won't put any enchantment points on this armor, I don't think. Speaking of the homies, SMP, you've been slacking off there as well. Melty. Melty the slacker. Wait, you can just restock? Oh, that's interesting. Mystery merchant. Wait, what is all this stuff? Defeat enchanted mobs. Oh, that's kind of cool to unlock those. Oh, excuse me. And then you got level 66. Yeah, nothing we're really going to worry about. Okay. I think this is going to make... Coral Rise a little bit more challenging. Because we don't have the armor. But we're, I'm hoping we'll find some really good armor as we're going through. Right? Let's just go for it. We'll live dangerously. How are we doing for time? Eight forty-eight. That's not too bad. Beneath the waves, a shard of the orb of dawn. Oh, I forgot to read the description again. Among Here, you know what we're gonna do? We'll just come back and we'll watch the cutscene again. Cause I love the little bits of information they add for these things. Home to colorful corals and schools of playful tropical fish, Coral Rise is full of life and breathtaking sights. It would be easy to be lulled into a false sense of security by the serene beauty, but the orb's corruption brews beneath the sandy surface. Hordes of drowned and sunken skeletons lurk. Wait, have we, we've already done that one. Is the Abyssal Monument the one that we're going for then? 
An unbelievable sunken temple sprawls before you, a place lost long ago to time and the changing currents of an indifferent ocean. Forgotten secrets that lie within have been warped by the orb's corruption, protected by enemies whose weapons and wits have not dulled despite countless eons in the depths. Face the Guardian within, claim its treasures for your own. This is the one we're supposed to be doing. There's another t piece of armor we haven't seen yet either, and in the three apparent upgrades we or uh, other possible items we haven't seen or, or used yet, which is kind of cool. But also, it means we haven't been the finding enough treasure. Of this sunken monument are an unknowable maze, rapidly being entombed by gnarled, ever-growing corals. And at the heart of this drowned dungeon lies an ancient guardian emboldened and corrupted by the shard's power take a deep breath and dive into the battles ahead for no one can be safe while such a corrupted oh, creature weird fight works. i should have known we're going to be fighting one of these guys as the big boss Ugh. all right <clears throat> this will be interesting oh wait we're going right into it to begin with oh there's going to be so many guardians isn't there i hate guardians do drowns spawn in ocean monuments? Because I've never really done anything with ocean monuments in Minecraft before. I think the most I've ever seen of ocean monuments is Filza doing some crazy ocean monument builds. Think it might head off soon. Uh, I have work tomorrow, but knowing me, I'll probably be here for the whole stream. Yeah, you should probably go get some sleep. Sleep's kind of important. Let's just go get the oxygen. So there's apparently an achievement to do with almost drowning and using potions or something like that, but I'm not quite sure how it works. Dude, you almost got us right there. Some of these zombies carry weird swords. I don't know if we've seen that little zigzag sword. I also wonder if we can eventually get a trident as a weapon. Oh my god, there's so many puffer fish. Oh, and their poison's so annoying. Totally noted that these guys... Pufferfish never did poison before, did they? Is that a new thing? That seems like a new thing to me. Someone told me I was their new favorite person yesterday, and I am very flattered. Aw. That's always a satisfying thing to hear. Heals allies. Interesting, okay. So we've almost got to separate them from each other. Although once one of them was dead, it's not so bad now. Oh god. Oh, even the little guys heal allies too! Oh my god, I hate the Dryden so much! No, we got... No! We're gonna die, 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 we're gonna die. Oh, thank God. Oh, it didn't work! We weren't close enough to anything! Ah! No, the lightning struck the wrong guy! Oh, I missed my big, powerful crossbow thing! Ah, there we go! We should not have survived this. I'm glad we did. But that should have been our death. See, if someone told me that, I would probably find it very offensive for someone. How would you find that offensive? When people on the internet like my energy, I'm like, huh, that's new. Well, you do have fun energy. Like, sometimes your energy can be a lot, but 90% of the time, I think it's fun and exciting. So I don't think you got anything to worry about, Milton. I'm not just saying that to try and make you feel special.
you're uh, you're one of my favorite streamers to go and watch, especially when I'm like, when I'm like feeling a little bit like la lackluster of energy. Where I'm just like I need like a boost. There's uh, never a moment where you're not times ten, or at least how it feels with your stream. <gasps> oh come on! It keeps giving us these dinky hammers. All right, well, we'll head in. I wonder if part of the challenge with this place is going to be oxygen spots spread out a little bit more. Because in the last couple levels, oxygen was generally just crammed together. Oh, maybe it'll be everywhere here as well. There was that one little level that we got... Or that one locked doorway that we went into where we didn't have any oxygen, and that was probably one of the most difficult fights that we've had in a long time. Besides the first time we've ever faced one of those... What do you call them? Oh, I can't actually fight my way back through it. Okay. Oh, is this like a maze kind of thing we have to go through? <gasps> Interesting. And depending on which one we go through, we'll find other treasure and things. People IRL just think that you're annoying. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if it's because... There's a different perception from when someone, like, when you're in person with someone versus they're, like, live streaming and, or making content. Because there are a lot of times where I'll talk and I'll say things different ways that, I, that I'm pretty sure people would, like, would normally find just kind of annoying if they had to, to hear it all the time. But it, when it comes to, like, making content, I think it's a lot more entertaining that way, right? Like, when you're watching someone play a video game, and they're fighting some sort of undead, or they're they're like playing a horror game and they're screaming and you know everything's going crazy and not, not well, not well for them. It's really fun and exciting to watch. But if you were walking by a room and you heard that person screaming in there without actually seeing the game, I feel like it'd be a very different story. So I get, so I can see that then, right? Because there's a whole different kind of perception based on it, or, or there's a whole different kind of, not perception, that's not the right word for it, but it's very different and situational, I think. I'm assuming we've got to do this to get to all these spots, and it looks like going to our left is the way to get to the end. To be, to be honest, it's fair because I'm super loud. I think it depends on the person. That's also true. I hate pufferfish. I always thought they were cool. Now I think they're the bane of the Minecraft world's existence. But this... Imagine if this is how the underworld or underwater... Um, Sorry, turtle. How the ocean monuments actually looked. Oh, this would be sick. I understand it's massive. And I don't think one would be able to generate properly. Oh, man. In the origin server that I play in Rhyme of Merling, this is my goal is to build a home that's very similar to this. Although I'll have to do stuff that's not the Prismarine, because Prismarine, I think, is kind of... I think... Oh, wait, no, Prismarine, you can do... You can do special farms that get you Prismarine, right? I'll have to look into that. Because I've never really been a fan of the Prismarine blocks. But I think underwater, there's that different visual palette that just maybe would just feel more fitting. But I've been meaning to ask, uh, how's the whole world domination going? Oh, it's going very well. All the time. Nothing to worry about. World domination is moving forward in a successful direction. Nothing to worry about here. <laughs> you know, I scream, you just have a lot of energy and eating all the sweets in the house doesn't help with that. That is true. But I've always found people that have more energy to be more fun too. And I think that also possibly has to do with, maybe it has to do with watching content creators for so long. I don't know. 
Melty, you've got me really curious about this now, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to pay attention to that more in my, uh, my day-to-day -day experiences. Oh, because you know what? I do have a great example, right? I have a... Okay. Because of doing content creation for so long, and because of the whole working from home stuff, the, the last few times that I've been out on a job actually working with people physically, I find it so incredibly boring. Not because the job sucks, like the job's great, but because it's interacting, interacting with other content creators is very different than interacting with regular everyday people. And I, it's a weird way of wording it, but I 100% stand by it. We're gonna get zapped by lightning here in a second. Oh wait, we already killed him, how did we kill him? Because there's just so many things that I think is just kind of fun to have weird conversations and talk about random things. And if someone talks about something, then just to to uh, to latch onto it and just go for it. But most people don't really seem to care. Like the um, what's a great example? Uh, oh, so when I was at work, because I I in the um, in the in the Glevy SMP that I do that I participate in. I want to see what's in here. My character is a as a Merlin, and the idea behind, or I should say, the idea I'm rolling behind with my character is that he doesn't really understand humans, and he wants to study them. So he uh, he pretends to be human. He goes up into uh, he'll go and like sneak up into the overworld or onto land to go and like mingle in like the human uh, in the human world. But he's like some prince from uh, from an underwater kingdom that's just kind of uh, come by in his like uh, his little like uh, journey to be to to adulthood kind of thing, you know, like to just go and like prove himself, go on an adventure kind of thing. And in the process of that, I was trying to think of like different ways or like a catchphrase that he could have, where he's just like, "Hello, fellow humans," or just like. Just like the how he what he, what would he refer to humans as? Because he wouldn't refer refer to them as like fleshies. Uh, would he refer to them as like landwalkers or what? So I was just kind of talking about this kind of stuff and uh, having you know some people seem to have a little bit of interest in in talking along with it. So I, I latched into it. And we st started talking about it more and more about the idea of it and we kind of had a little bit of a conversation going. But the conversation lasted maybe thirty seconds. And then I'm so used to with content creation and talking with people like other streamers. When a conversation gets to the point where they don't really have an interest in it, then what they do is they start, they grab something else and they, they go with that. And then we just start, we just change the topic. But with the, with regular everyday people, <laughs> they just get bored of it. And then they just stop talking and they shut down. And it's just, I don't know. It's very weird. And it's very jarring for me. I don't remember exactly where I was going with it, but, but yeah. So I, and I think, I think, a lot of that, I think a lot of that kind of translates over into what uh, what we were talking about with uh, how you were saying people find you an annoying. I think it's just because they just, I don't know. I don't know, I really know how to explain it. Right? It's like, actually, I don't even know where I'm going with it anymore, but that was just something that I observed. That's a big difference between people who are big into content creation like, I'm not saying I'm an I'm, I'm amazing content creator, because there's still hundreds of thousands of ways to improve and, and get better. But uh, there's just the way that people talk and the way that the, with, like, your average everyday person who just isn't into that kind of stuff, it's just, it's very, it's very difficult and almost painful for me to have conversations with them. Just because I don't think they, they have fun conversations. <laughs> You just need to find the right group of people who won't lose interest in Origins right away. That is completely... Fit. Well, I don't... So, Melty, I don't think it has anything to do with people losing interest in Origins. I think it's just a common thing that we find with servers. Where people will be really into it for a certain amount of time. And then they just fall off of it. And it has nothing to do with Origins itself. But it just has to do with how people are with servers. Uh, you accidentally called your friend chat the other day. They don't know I stream. It was very awkward. Oh, that's a good one. I think I'm supposed to come down here. I think this is the first time we've had to jump down this far as part of progressing to a, to the next part of a level. 
That's really cool. Oh, the bubbles actually locked down those guys too. Okay, we gotta get to some auction here pretty quick. Go! Go! Wait, there wasn't any there, supplies! Nope, that's not gonna give me any oxygen. We're gonna die here. Unless this is oxygen here. <gasps> yes! Oh, thank God. Oh, I panicked! I shot him with the big run! Oh, we gotta level up, though. There's a lot of things you need to learn about streaming. I... There's... I don't think there's ever a point where we'll be able to stop learning things about streaming. Because there's just always things to learn. Things are changing. People are finding different things. It's. I guess it's one of the things that I love about it. It can be frustrating how sometimes I'll find something where I'm like, oh, this is cool. This is working for me. And then like a couple weeks down the road, it'll just be... People will lose interest in it or some sort of meta will change. Ah, oh, dang it. Wait, so this guy's... Oh, he's throwing tridents in the air. And the tridents hit the ground, and then the explosions happen. That's cool. Oh my god, he knocked me up into the air, so I couldn't get the last couple hits off on him and finish him off before he activated his thing. What a butt. Uh, I want to be like Rin eventually. Rin is one of the biggest inspirations right now, which is probably the reason I actually started streaming. If not for Rin, I would have chickened out. Okay. Never tell this to Rin. But Rin is an absolute, I think Rin's an absolutely incredible streamer. And every once in a while, when I find that I'm starting to, uh, uh, where I feel like I'm, I'm, you know, like losing, losing my edge, where I'm getting lazy with certain things, I'll go and I'll, I'll make sure I watch her stream. Because she always just has this energy about her stream that's very inspiring, right? And the things she's doing and she just, she can carry conversations on for so long and she has this really good talent of just being able to to bring chat into pretty much everything she's doing and I am very jealous of her ability to do that because there's a lot of times where I'll just start going off on something and talk about things and I'll just forget to really talk to chat and reference you guys and be like oh hey what are you guys doing how's life <laughs> but I think I don't know what it is it's like chat's a, a very not the chat's not important to, to me, but it's like the most important thing to her, it seems like, when she's streaming. It, it's something that's really, really inspiring. Why did that guy explode and it didn't send off any of our extra firework arrows? Does it happen every once in a while where it like glitches? A as if the crossbow shots or the arrow arrows just get like stuck inside the person? I don't fully understand. These guys are gonna have to tell us what's going on here. I want. God. Okay, okay, all right. There's three. Chat, there's three different of the extra, I forget what they're called, the things that go, like, these three things down here. The, one of the things that my body's blocking, right there. There's those three things. Uh, there's three of them that we haven't experienced yet, so I really want to try and find all the possible chests in this area so that we can go and find out what, what they are. Because we pretty much only use all of the original ones. I can hyper-focus on things and completely miss chat sometimes, that's fair. Because I think even the, the bag satchel that we have on the right side is something completely from the beginning. Also, what are these? Because there's these four different doors around the whole outside of this. What are they supposed to be? Chat is usually your main focus, but sometimes everything is chaotic and you focus on one thing. That is completely fair. I would like to say that chat is my main focus, but 90% of the time. <laughs> it is not. I love you guys. But at the same time, sometimes I like... Oh, we're getting another one of these cube things. Oh, are we going to use the... I think the cube goes on top of those... 
boxes, right? To open the doors. Right? Because it's got that spot on the top where it looks like a cube goes on top. And I think we use that to access these other extra areas. Which kind of sucks because it'd be nice just to carry it with us all the time. New objective, find the beacons? Aw, oh, did that? Are you, uh... You gonna let me have you? Cool. Well, the first time we got this, it made the game so much fun. I gotta put that on there, which opens up this door. Uh, I've decided I'm not playing Monster Prom on stream anymore unless someone reads all the lines. I talk enough without a visual novel type game. Well, it, it's really exhausting if you don't do visual novel games very often. Because there's, there's so many different characters. And so you try to do different voices for all of them. And then on top of that, you, sometimes it's hard to really keep on top of who's talking to who. And it's very mentally exhausting. So, uh, I mean, good on you for what you did with it. It was really smart to, to do that with gold. Hey, unknown parents, welcome, welcome. It's good to see you. You're asleep? Well, go to bed then, Wolfie. It's, it's super late for you. Okay, go get some rest. Take care of yourself. Yeah, your voice go burr. The, I think the most I've ever done with a visual novel game was Necrobarista, which it was a, it was a visual novel game about a bunch of like, I think it was like an undead uh, bar barista that worked at a coffee shop. It had a lot of really cool story and stuff going on through it, and we found out how she became undead and how she was tied to a bunch of the other characters, and it was a lot of fun, but it was very exhausting. The reason why I'm thinking about it right now is there's actually an update that came out a little while ago that uh, added some more to the story and the progress. The MD? Message retracted. I missed that. But yeah, Necrobarista, if you guys are a fan of visual novel games, highly recommend checking it out. Oh, why is this opening both sides? Or why are we getting the upper camera shot of this? Is it just to show us all the different things? Oh, it's to let us know that it's like a puzzle kind of thing. Gold loves that game so much. Oh, really? There's so many other different things that I would love to... I, In some ways, I really miss... All of the... Oh, neck. oh, so it is a puzzle kind of thing here. Oh, that's cool. But also not cool because... We're gonna run out of... Wait, how do we get oxygen? Oh, these slimes give oxygen when you kill them. Oh, that's so cool. So you had to play it? Oh, you're talking about the... Um, the one that you guys were playing on stream, right? Not Necrobarista? If she's really big into visual novels, tell her she's got to check out Necrobarista. Uh, uh, unknown, I do kind of, do just kind of hang out and play this on my own. Uh, so unfortunately, I, I won't be bringing other people on to, to join and play with me. Um, uh, but you're more than welcome to come hang out if you want. If you're looking for someone to actually play with, though, and, uh, if that means you want to go and find another stream, then please don't feel like uh, you have to stick around if it if you're looking for someone to, to join with. I don't want you to... What am I doing wrong? What about this one now? That takes me back this way. Is it just a circle that I live in now? Oh, no, here we go. Oh, the, okay, okay. So... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, that, oh, that's right. That There's that door that needs the key that I'm carrying. I was very confused. I thought that I was trying to find the door that would unlock this spot. Or the button that would unlock that, but I had the key on me the whole time for that. But, uh... Oh, come on. Oh, I guess it's level... Oh, it's level 68. Right, we've got, we have, or no, we don't have it anymore. No. Oh wait, we're actually getting less than, maybe the, 
that upgrade that we had is actually better than I thought. That's, um... Oh, I keep forgetting what it's called! The thing that increased the luck of the sea? Yeah, luck of the sea. I think we're actually getting worse drops now. Which is weird because for a long portion of time, we were getting so many really good drops for so long. And then suddenly we're not really getting too many of the really fancy gold tier items. You just remember the KFC dating sim you played that one time? Oh, was it? I think I caught a small portion of that. How did you find that game? Because that's weird, but also a genius marketing move. An absolutely incredibly genius marketing move on KFC's side. Because they've got the they've got the funds and easily the ability to to move forward forward with that. It's just ah. Oh. I heard a lot of good things about it too. I don't think it got bad reviews. Now, the question I have is, when they came up with the idea for the KFC dating simulator, what sparked it? Was it actually someone within the company? Was it like a was it was it like the child of someone that worked in the company higher up? It was just like, "Hey, this would be funny if you do that." Did they bring in some new mark cuz Ever since that, I don't think I've heard of anything from KFC that's been an absolutely fantastic marketing move. Like, there haven't been bad ones. But nothing to the degree of the KFC dating simulator. Because, was it just, I wonder if it was a one-time lucky thing, or maybe they just didn't get, they didn't find that they got very much return on it. Because I guess dating simulators are a very niche market. Interesting. It was on your Steam recommended. Really? That's weird. Oh no. Oh wait. Oh, we got to find the... That's actually kind of cool. We got to find which key's the real one. But it counts as us killing it every time we destroy it. So we get our, our super speed. Oh, I've got it. We'll let the other fake one survive. How cool if that's how... How cool would it be if that's how beacons actually worked? You can't believe Colonel Sanders rejected you? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, there's always... There's always another time, Melty. Imagine... Ooh. I think this would go... This could be a popular dating simulator, but it would also be a weird and kind of slightly uncomfortable one. But imagine a dating simulator where you are the viewer in a ch in like a couple different streamers' chats, and you, the dating sim simulator is about um like dating the streamers. I feel like like I don't like the idea of it, but I think that would that would be one that I think. Would, could possibly get some controversy going for it, but I think a lot of people would be all in on that. Because I was surprised. Like, dating simulators are not easy to make, but I was surprised how many f really good free resources there are for actually making dating simulators. Like, any one of us right now could just Google, like, uh, how to make a dating simulator, and we would get probably a whole page of these, of 10 different programs that are free you can download that just put it all together for you. All you gotta do is just upload the images and uh, set up a couple of the, the basic things for it. Of just like, or, or the, the order of events going into it. I need oxygen, do we gotta go back for it? Yeah, we're not gonna push, we're gonna, keep, we're gonna go back, we're gonna go back for it. Because I know there's a there's a YouTube channel I do stuff with, Geeks Actually Making Entertainment. And for the longest time, we've always been talking about... Because we do a web series where we've got, like, the like the whole story with ongoing characters and uh, all sorts of that jazz. And we've been talking about doing a dating simulator in that universe for a long time now. But it's just something that uh, we haven't really just finished putting the time into to set it all up and put it together. Oh, man. It would be strange, but it, but it definitely would be popular. I think so. 
I don't think we'd be able to do it with... We'd have to create, like, fake streamers. For it, I wouldn't want to base it off of any actual real-world streamers. But I feel like that's something that we could easily... Have we been this way before? No, I don't think we have. You forgot to post your emoji guessing game on Twitter. What's an emoji guessing game? Are you just, like, putting emoji up and then people are guessing what the emoji are called or something like that? He's gonna pop his name. Oh, it lifted him up! Alright, we're safe to go through! <laughs> no, I got poisoned! How could it? So I've got an event planned coming up that, uh... Chat, you'll all be able to interact with and, uh and be a part of if you're interested. So I've got, it's kind of all like this preparation for this bigger event that I want to do at some point. But I, I'm trying to set up this, like a marathon run kind of thing, but in Minecraft, where you start, like it's this very long, narrow world. Uh, like with the, the world border, that's like a, basically it's a rectangular, very thin, very long. And your goal is to run from one edge of the world's or one edge of the border all the way to the other side. And I think the ox, oh, we would, we would lose all of our progress if we went back to the oxygen. We're just gonna go for it. Oh yeah, cause we're gonna get the oxygen here with the jet, uh, the things here. Am I a sub to Spark Universe? What is Spark Universe? I have not heard of Spark Universe before. Battle robes, level 68. Not the upgrades we're looking for. We're actually doing not too bad without putting upgrades on this. But we do also have the 35% damage reduction, which is helping out a lot, I think, too. Uh, but yeah, it's like a... Wait, did I just come all this way for nothing? Oh, there's only two doors. Or I should say there's only two of the beacons to activate with four different routes that we can go. Oh, uh, so the route that we went just wasn't one of the right ones. Uh, I'm choosing a creator from the community or a friend of mine, putting emojis to represent them. Whoever guesses at first wins. Oh, that's really cool, Melty. Have you done a bunch of those? Or is this kind of the first one you're doing? Because I think I remember seeing stuff like that before, but I don't know if it was just another creator that did something like that. Or if it was just one of your tweets. You've done TGG, Wraith, and Gold so far, and they have been guessed correctly. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, oops. Okay. So we've done the top left, the right, the bottom, and now we're just going to go the left here. And this is probably the actual beacon. Did we get treasure chests at the last beacon? Or did we get more treasure chests on the other two ones that we went to? Oh, this is a short one too. We got a fight coming on. Oh, thank God there's an oxygen thing here too. Okay, so I think before we do anything, we're getting rid of all these guys. Oh crap! Why are there zombies spawning? They're supposed to let me kill all of these guys before they spawn. And he's shooting through his beam portal thing. Ah, oh, we're gonna die. Yep, we're, oh my, wow. Okay. So that little, the mix of the poison and all these mobs is also kind of exciting. Okay. I don't think the puffer fish are respawning. Oh, do puffer fish poison you in regular Minecraft? I really don't think they do. You have trouble... Coming up with emojis for some of them? That's fair. Well, 
because uh, emojis don't really, ex I mean, emojis express a lot, but to come up with the right order in a way that your community would be able to guess the kind of person, but not immediately, it'd be very challenging. Their mod, are you talking about the creates mod? Oh, does this go back on here now? No. <gasps> it comes with us. Let us keep it forever, please. Bubbles for days would be lovely. As much as it's been kind of fun, having to navigate the idea of, uh, or I shouldn't say navigate the idea, of having to, to pay attention to our oxygen levels. It's also kind of nice not having to. They poison in vanilla Minecraft, really? I guess I've just never spent time around the pufferfish then. Interesting. Oh, I almost attacked the turtle. Oh, and I can't shoot my bow when I'm carrying this. I forgot about that. Oh, I activated both my... <gasps> Wait, the... The healing thing's moving with me! It's doing that thing again! Oh, it's because I'm carrying something on my head. And the game's like, oh, okay. Let's carry that healing thing with you. Oh. I'm totally in. I never want to put this back down. Okay, what's spawning in? Pufferfish are the bane of your existence sometimes? I've never really had... I've never had to deal with them. I don't think I've ever really taken damage from a pufferfish. Wait, whoa, 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 what's happening here? Wait! Oh, I didn't put it on our head this time. Oh, was it just a one-time glitch? Wait, it's, we're falling down more? We were so close to the end, I thought. We have to fight our way all the way back up to that place now before we can continue exploring through. Because we've... Okay, okay. At first I saw that it looked like there was a ton of different directions we could explore and go. But it looks like that's all just the map up above us. I thought we were going to have to go navigate our way around a whole bunch of places before we get back into the... Do you guys see that red health bar? Just floating around. Doing its own thing. So now we've got to figure out the way we want to go to get through this. I think there's something in the middle of the map, so we're going to go this way. Yeah, there was. A battle robe? With burning surprise gift, potion barrier. Whenever you use a healing potion, you take ni minus 90% damage for a short duration. That's nice. Increase the maximum number of souls you can be carried. None of those really help. We're looking for something a little more... A little more spiffy, you know? Something that provides us such an incredibly massive boost that we feel unstoppable. And with it. Uh-oh. This is the boss fight, isn't it? Maybe? Oh, no, no. No, we're just almost at a boss fight. I'm assuming there's gonna be some creatures we're just fighting in here. <gasps> Dude, look at this thing! Look at that! There it is, I found it! It's in Find the Creature's Lair. It is right there. It is on the other side of this wall. Are there baby skeletons? Is that a thing? For some reason, I don't feel like it's a thing, but I feel like I've seen them before, and I don't know if it was just modded Minecraft or if it's regular Minecraft. Because there's baby zombies. Wait, what's this? I told myself I'd edit YouTube videos, but then you didn't. That's fair. YouTube videos are a lot of a lot of work. 
a lot more than you'd expect. Oh, I, did, I meant to shoot him with an arrow. Okay, so we got two ways we can go. Let's go this way first. Because this isn't leading... Look at the spooky, misty glass! Or, or not glass, the... Uh, mist? It's so weird, I love it. Ah, crap. Oh, wait, did I kill him? Oh, he is dead, okay. In Villa Minecraft, there are... There's not baby skeletons that you've noticed, but there are in Project Aussie. Okay. I didn't think they were in in the regular stuff. I wonder what mods adding them in then. Oh yeah, there are in Project Aussie. That's probably why I was thinking about the baby skeletons. They're very frustrating. I keep forgetting too, I keep tapping A, thinking that I have to keep hitting it for my attacks to go, but I can just hold it and then I'll keep uh I'll keep attacking. I'll probably attack faster if I start if I start holding it. Okay, how are we doing for time? 9.30. I think we've got enough time to finish this. Without going, like, super far over time. So, do you get poisoned by the pufferfish when you kill it? Oh, now I remember why I was tapping A to attack. It's because when I tap it, I can, I can still move forward and still get my attack speed roughly the same. But it makes it so that the knockbacks from different attacks aren't as effective. All right, let's go this way. You screamed the first time you saw one. Oh, they just have the gravity pulse ability, okay. Gold was like, you good? And I was like, no, I'm not. There's a child with a, <laughs> There's a, child with a gun. Oh, man. I feel like seeing that purple lines there. This is the gates. Yep, the gates just came up. Okay. Of course, all these mobs want to spawn right in the middle of the puffer fish. But it is also very nice not having to have dealt with any sort of oxygen levels or anything like that. We're just getting basic weapons. This place just keeps going, too. There's got to be something good out here. Pufferfish poison if you're too close. That's just weird, because... I've, I've never... In my entire history of playing Minecraft, I've never experienced that. Not once. Oh, shoot. I almost killed myself from their poison. There, there has to be something good here. A jar with some emeralds. Oh, I heard the sound of something. Oh, a chest came down. Oh, really? Just, a, just a, a regular chest and a basic site that we're never going to use. Cool. I'm so glad we spent all that time <laughs> coming down to the side of the map. Oh, that's okay. Okay. We're just going to make our way back now. What? I'm really curious about now, and I'm going to go find out, or test out. Is, uh... The next time I'm playing Minecraft, I'm going to go find some puffer fish and see how their, their poison actually works. Because you were saying that pufferfish poison you if you're too close. And I wonder if it's because I've never gotten close enough to a fish. I've always just attacked it as I've gone up to it to collect it. 
Favorite thing to do right now is replace my friend's floors with slabs, waterlog them, and then spawn pufferfish under their- <gasps> Oh, that's so diabolical! Melty! Yes! It's genius! My god, you're so evil, because they wouldn't know! Wow. Alright. Puffer fish. Underwater logged slabs. Wow. Alright, so, uh, note to self, never get melty on your bad side. Because that will not, <laughs> that will not go over well for you. Oh my god. Well, because you probably spend so much time going like, what the heck is poisoning me? What's going on here? Without realizing that it's the puffer fish. Wow. Yeah, it's so funny and so evil. It's incredibly good. Melty... As far as I'm concerned, you deserve an award for that. Oh, oh, oh. We gotta save our lives, because we don't have too many of them left. As I say, as I run up there and take tons of damage. Oh, just slow down. Okay, let's get some health back. And then we'll go up there and we'll deal with these guys. Wow. I wonder what other kinds of things... Are there other animals in Minecraft that I don't know about their side effects? Because I know llamas can spit at you. Is there... Are there any other ones that are crazy like that? If I really want to be mean, I put TNT under someone's door pressure. Oh, okay, that's mean. Yeah, no, that's... There's a difference between diabolically... Or diabolical and just cruel. In the Glovey server, uh, they've recently had uh, some TNT stuff they've had to deal with with some players. Because a lot of friends put pressure plates by their doors. Well, I think it's a very common thing to put pressure plates on the underside. Or on the inside. So when you walk in, the door closes behind you. That way, if something happens and a door's ever accidentally left open or something too, just it, uh, it doesn't become a problem. So is this where that bridge was that collapsed? I think it was. poison so much. At least our healing thing outheals it, and I think when if we get poisoned multiple times, it doesn't just make the poison stack and become more powerful. Like it just possibly, if anything, stacks the length of it. Ah, oh, we're only getting the slowing effect with our satchel, too. Depends on how badly they've offended you. I mean, that's fair. We did the puffer fish kill the zombie for us. Thank you, my friend. You're not easily offended, so they... So you haven't done it too many times. That's fair. Oh, I thought for sure this was going to be another falling to the bottom of the world kind of thing. That doesn't seem to be the case. Are we supposed to carry the oxygen thing with us? Because there's so many spots with actual water bubbles that I don't understand why it would put those in and also give us this. Unless that's just part of the natural world generation. I'm not sure. This is gonna send us to this other thing, right? Nope. That's <laughs> sent us a little too far. So this has gotta be the boss fight coming up here then, right? This is a big room. This is a big opening. Yep, yep, this is gonna be it, isn't it? Look at all those health bars! There's so many health bars! Puffer slab thing, however, is something you do to anyone because it's funny. I think it's hilarious! Defeat the ancient guardian. Oh, thank god those blocked the attacks of it. Okay. Uh... What are all of its abilities? Oh, it's got a ground slam. Okay. Oh, did it spawn a friend? Son of a gun. My arrow.
arrows don't quite reach far enough. Wait, what are those? Ah. Oh my god. Okay. I feel like the longer I chill over here, the harder this is going to get for me. We got to light one thing on fire, but it didn't really go how I was hoping. Ah, oh, he did his- he locked- he's locked in! What's happening now? What's happening now? I watched two llamas murder each other. It was very interesting. I thought you were going to bed. Ow, ow! How did it hit me? I'm hiding! Ow! Do I just- I just gotta survive here long enough, right? No, 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 you're not supposed to spawn more things. We gotta go kill him, we gotta go kill him. Oh, and it's the big elder guardian with a lot of health. Ah, thank God for the speed boost. Chill over there. I'll chill over here, okay? Oh, I hate him so much. Okay, wait for his beam. Go for it. Oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's going to shoot his beam again. Oh, that stupid poison thing shot up in front of us. Well, this isn't good. The other one didn't knock us back as much as this guy was. Oh. Dude, this tough. This fight is tough. There we go, he's down. Get another one of those. Hit him as much as we can. And skedaddle. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, it's gonna kill me. <laughs> no. There was nothing we could do. There was no cover. I should have ran for that block over there. Okay, we'll grab this. We'll just wait here. We'll wait here very patiently. He's only half dead, too. As many hits on him as we can. Oh, uh oh. <clears throat> I think we got this. We still have one life left. We moved at the right time. Oh my lord. Ah! Ah, he's still shooting me! Ah, and the poison! At least he's not spawning those little guys. Have you seen things, old man? You're just seeing things, old man. They're not here. They're, wait, what? Not here. They are not. They are asleep? Wait. Melty, are, uh, are you okay? Are you having a stroke? Set fire. Murder him, fire. There we go. We just don't have as good of reach. Oh, 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 that's bad. Oh, they both wanted the lasers this time. So much health. 
Oh, he's going for the charging bump attacks. Okay. Okay. We're gonna sneak up to this one. Ah! Oh, it, it made it. Uh oh, give me my health. Oh, I, I tried to zap him. <laughs> it didn't work. Oh, the lightning one's good. Lightning one's good. Come on. Give me a couple hits on him. Oh, he's going into his thing. Okay, okay. He's down to like his last little form. I don't like that he's going to that side. I really liked being over in the other area. Oh God, here's his beam again. I'm always rude when this is beam because if he floats up a little bit, he's just gonna peg us right in the head. Ow. See, he just did it again. Ugh. There he is. You're going down, little guy. Oh, okay, that was that was a little easier. All right. <laughs> the music is very intense. Grammar is hard. Grammar can be very difficult. We got battle ropes. Oh, it's got three slots on it. We've got. Look at the seed! You know that thing I was just talking to everybody about how I wanted back? Lucky Explorer and Beast Boss. Let's just do this. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, we've got Death Barter, Reckless, and Rush. Electrified, Lightning Focus, and Life Boost. Rolling Zaps, Tumor Nearby Enemies, Lightning Damage, you deal it has increased. Increased movement speed for one second after taking damage. Your health is reduced by 60%. Oh, dude, I'm not really a big fan of these other two things. Uh, I'm gonna really miss the minus. Oh, wait. 40% artifact cooldown? That's good, right? Yes, yes, it is. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm meant to be sleeping. Shh, I was never here. <laughs> okay. This can go goodbye. We got 12 points left. Your health is reduced by 60%, but your melee damage is increased by a bunch. I don't know if I want that. I don't care so much about the rush. Increased movement speed for one second after taking damage. Oh, no, sorry. Here it is. Uh, rolling zaps two nearby enemies with lightning bolts dealing damage. Lightning damage you deal is increased. Or each time you respawn, your maximum health increases. I feel like we're going to do the lightning focus. Let's grab this. And let's live dangerously and go with reckless as well, right? I don't know if I like that idea, right? Health is reduced by 60%, but we do a lot more damage. 80% more damage. We're probably going to die a lot. It's probably not going to go over well, but we'll hold on to it for a little bit here. Worst case scenario, we just salvage it because it's not a it's not a, a unique one that we're wanting to keep for our collection. Yes, Black Blue Wolf is asleep. You're just seeing things because you're old. Oh, it's because I'm old, huh? Mm? Is that what's happening, Melty? Is washed away. The peaceful currents I of the see ocean how it is. return once more. I see how it is. Now, please give us... Watch it give us a piece of armor way better than what we just spent all of our points on. But with none of the upgrades that we actually want. Satchel of Snacks. Oh. The Satchel of Snacks provides a treat when you need it most. Crafts a random food item and throws it on the ground. Oh, that's not very good. Wait, wouldn't the potion one be... I guess the Satchel of Snacks is guaranteed to heal you each time. Yeah, we're not going to take that. <laughs> uh, what we will do... Is check out... <gasps> Shock Powder. Shock Powder is a reliable tool for those who wish to wake... Oh, that just stuns things, right? Wait, dude, look at this. Ancient bow. The ancient bow is still as sprightly as the day it was first strung. It's actually kind of cool. The bow that we're currently using, chain reaction and void strike. This one has whatever. You know what? I don't know what that purple thing is. I want to I buy this. Cooldown shot. When you attack with a charged shot, artifact cooldowns are decreased. <gasps> That's actually really good. Critical hit gives you a chance to inflict critical hits, dealing triple damage. Wait, 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 wait. This would mean... 
with the cooldown shot, we would get our... What do you call it? Uh, the rocket shot back sooner. Plus, with the critical shot, if only cooldown shot and chain reaction were on uh, different spots. That's cool, though. What does the mystery merchant got for us? Random item, the buzzy nest, fishing rod. Let's, you know, what the heck? Let's just, let's live dangerous. That can go, that can go. We'll get rid of that, we'll get rid of that, okay. Interesting. That, that's actually a cool combination. Almost a really good combination. I don't really care about the rolling makes next attack stronger or the pet, pets attacking target mob because we don't really do anything with pets. So I don't think that's going to be a bow we use very often, but at the same time... You know, let's try something. I don't see it going down. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to hit the gift driver with all those shots. Sorry, dude. <laughs> he just took a bunch of hits for the team. Okay. Um, let's... Because the cooldown didn't... I didn't really see the artifact cooldown going down at all when I fired those shots. Wait, every time I roll... It makes it stronger. Oh, this is weird. Someone the other day called me a fetus in an argument because they're older and I didn't know how to respond. I just was standing there like, uh, what? <laughs> So what happens when we get to 20? Is it like a super powered shot? Interesting. Okay. We're gonna hold on to this. And we're gonna try it out because I'm curious about it. Because that could be an interesting bow for fighting bosses. Because it might do a ton of extra damage, right? Especially with the critical hit. Tied in with the rolling makes the next attack stronger. Unless maybe I have to hit a mob for the rolling to take the to do the extra damage. Okay, we're going to jump into a level. We're just going to quickly test it out, and then we're going to wrap up stream here. Let's just go to Coral Rise. Because I'm curious to see if it stays like that permanently, or if I have to hit a mob for the damage to, to spike. Somewhere. Okay, so that was 431 damage. Let's see how, how much damage we do when we stack this up to 20. People use the strangest things to try and insult. Yeah, I don't know. People are weird with that kind of stuff. I think it's that a lot of people aren't very good at insults. And so they hear other people's insults. And they try to use those insults. But they didn't. But the other person who used the insult really set it up in a lot better of a, of a, of a location. And so it just, it fe the insult feels very out of place because it doesn't have the same context as the other person that used it on them, if that makes sense. So I think that's why there's a lot of them just seem really weird. Wait, you gotta figure out how to pass a test retake. What hap what test did you, did you fail a test? What happened, Melty? 18, 19, 
20. All right, let's try out this new shot. Dude! Did you see that explode? That was so cool. All right, cool. All right. Uh, not what we're looking for. Rarely will we ever get to the point where we get our our damage up like that. So I think we're just going to salvage it. I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to use that weapon. And then we'll put the armor back in here. Boop. Okay. With that, we're going to wrap up the stream here. Thank you so much for hanging out, everybody. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be on the Project Aussie server. I believe tomorrow we are, uh, we're finishing up the final stuff with the potato pipeline. And, uh, yeah, we've got some work to do in the evil underground lair. we got to set it up so we can start bringing in some of our staff to start working away. Because we got some, we got some work we got to do to figure out what's going on with Sigma in the server. He's getting all crazy into the, uh, what do you call it? That's DNA splicing, and he's not really acting like his usual self. So something's going on, and we got to do some research into that. So tomorrow, I'm hoping we're going to be able to get started in a bunch of that. And, oh, there's cosmetic stuff! Since when was there cosmetic stuff? We got capes? What do these capes mean? Hero cape? Sinister Cape, Old and Torn, thank you to our 10 plus million players. Participated in the Festival of Frost 2022 event. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Oh, wait, there's pets. <gasps> Did they float around with me? Stone Monstrosity. Look at the little guy. We're keeping him because he reminds me of the Copper Golem, and I love the Copper Golem, and I hope someday we'll be able to have Copper Golems. But, uh, all right, with that, <laughs> the potato sewer. All right, I'm out of here. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> I will see you around.